Rich Mindset. Think Like a Millionaire Today. Written by Ronnie Rowland. Published by Growth Literacy Lounge. Introduction. Have you ever wondered what sets millionaires apart from everyone else? Is it luck, privilege, or something more accessible to anyone willing to make a change? While building wealth may seem like an overwhelming task, it all begins with a shift in how you think about money. A rich mindset is not just about the numbers in your bank account. It's about adopting a way of thinking that allows you to see and seize opportunities, make calculated risks, and use your resources wisely to multiply your wealth. This book will introduce you to the principles that self-made millionaires live by principles that you too can adopt starting today. From creating multiple streams of income to developing the discipline required for long-term success, this book will walk you through the exact mindset shifts needed to unlock your financial potential. You'll discover how to think, act, and make decisions like a millionaire, even if you're just getting started. By embracing the millionaire mindset, you'll learn how to transform your current situation, no matter where you are financially, into one of abundance and opportunity. Think bigger, aim higher, and adopt the strategies that can lead you to financial freedom. Your journey to becoming a millionaire begins now. If you find value in today's video, smash that like button and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, questions, or ideas for future videos. Let's keep the conversation going. Your engagement fuels this channel, so let's grow together. Let's get started. Chapter 1. The Foundation of Wealth. Building the Right Mindset. Wealth doesn't begin with a paycheck, nor does it come from luck. It starts in the mind. If you want to become a millionaire, the very first thing you must do is adopt the right mindset. While this might seem like a small or even obvious step, the truth is that most people sabotage their financial success before they even begin, because they haven't aligned their thoughts and beliefs with the kind of success they desire. Think about it for a moment. How often do you hear phrases like, I'll never be rich, money is the root of all evil, or only a few people are lucky enough to become wealthy? These statements are reflections of limiting beliefs, mental blocks that make financial success seem unattainable. What's worse, these beliefs are often deeply ingrained, passed down through families, or reinforced by the culture around us. The truth is, you must break free from these limiting beliefs if you want to achieve financial freedom. Becoming a millionaire isn't just about earning more money, it's about thinking differently about money. Millionaires approach their finances with an abundance mindset, a mindset that doesn't see limitations but opportunities. They view wealth not as something scarce, reserved only for the lucky few but as something they can create through their actions, discipline, and focus. One of the most powerful ways to shift into the millionaire mindset is by rewriting your internal financial story. Ask yourself, what are the beliefs you hold about money? Do you think it's hard to earn? Do you believe that you'll never have enough? Do you feel that wealth is beyond your reach? These are all mental roadblocks standing between you and the success you want. Now, imagine flipping the script. Instead of saying, I can't afford that, you start saying, how can I afford that? By simply reframing the way you talk to yourself about money, you open up your mind to new possibilities. This is the beginning of a powerful transformation. You're no longer the victim of your circumstances. You are the architect of your financial future. Millionaires often see challenges where others see dead ends. It's this difference in thinking that separates those who achieve financial success from those who remain stuck. While others are trapped in fear or doubt, successful individuals see obstacles as opportunities to grow, learn, and succeed. The Power of Visualization Visualization is another key tool that self-made millionaires use to shape their financial destinies. This might sound a bit abstract, but it's grounded in neuroscience. When you visualize your goals, when you truly see yourself living a life of abundance, free from financial worry, you are programming your brain to believe that this reality is possible. Let's try a quick exercise. Close your eyes and picture yourself a year from now. You've doubled your income, you've made smart investments, and you're living with complete financial security. What does that feel like? How does it change your day-to-day -day life? Now, take that feeling and start embedding it into your present reality. The more vividly you can picture yourself achieving your financial goals, the more your brain will start aligning your actions with this vision. Visualization isn't just daydreaming. It's a powerful tool that can reshape the way you approach your goals and influence the choices you make every day. 
when you can see yourself succeeding, you'll naturally begin to act in ways that bring you closer to that success. Shifting from scarcity to abundance. Most people operate from a scarcity mindset, a belief that there isn't enough to go around. They see money as a limited resource and think that they must hold on to every penny just to survive. Millionaires, on the other hand, operate from an abundance mindset. They know that money is a renewable resource, something that can be created, multiplied, and shared. Operating from a mindset of abundance doesn't mean being reckless with your money. It means understanding that there are endless opportunities for wealth creation if you are willing to find them. It means recognizing that when you invest in yourself and your skills, you are expanding your ability to generate income. An abundance mindset also helps you focus on value. Millionaires don't just think about how they can make money, they think about how they can create value. The more value you can offer to others, whether it's through your business, investments, or services, the more wealth you will attract in return. This is a fundamental shift in thinking that separates wealthy individuals from the rest. Now that you understand the importance of mindset, let's get practical. Here are some specific steps you can take to start building the right mindset for wealth. 1. Identify your limiting beliefs. Take some time to write down the negative beliefs you currently hold about money. Be honest with yourself. Once you've identified these beliefs, consciously work to replace them with empowering ones. 2. Practice gratitude for what you have. An abundance mindset thrives on gratitude. By focusing on the wealth and opportunities you already have, you open the door for more to flow into your life. 3. Surround yourself with success. Spend time with people who have achieved financial success or who share your wealth-building goals. Their energy, mindset, and habits will naturally influence you in a positive way. 4. Visualize your success daily. Every day, take five minutes to visualize your future financial success. Picture it as vividly as possible and allow yourself to feel the emotions associated with that success. 5. Focus on value creation. Start asking yourself how you can add more value in every area of your life. The more value you provide, the more opportunities for wealth will present themselves. Now that your mindset is on track for financial success, it's time to move from thoughts to action. In the next chapter, we'll explore how to create multiple streams of income, the key to financial security and freedom. Chapter 2. Diversifying Your Income Multiple Streams for Financial Security Now that your mindset is primed for success, it's time to turn your thoughts into action. One of the most powerful principles that millionaires follow is diversifying their income. They don't rely on a single source of income. Instead, they create multiple streams that ensure financial security and long-term wealth growth. This strategy protects them from economic shifts, job loss, or unexpected expenses, and gives them the freedom to pursue opportunities that align with their passions. Let's break this down. Imagine you have only one source of income, like a salary from your job. If you lose that job, your entire financial well-being is suddenly at risk. But what if you had several income streams, maybe a side business, investments, and rental income? Losing one source wouldn't be catastrophic because the others would continue to generate cash flow. This is how millionaires think. They create safety nets and opportunities by diversifying their income. It's a strategy that anyone can adopt, even if you're just starting out. Before diving into the different ways to create multiple streams of income, it's essential to understand the difference between active and passive income. Active income is money you earn through direct effort, like the work you do at your job or freelance gigs. Passive income, on the other hand, is money that continues to flow in with minimal ongoing effort once the initial work or investment is done. While building passive income streams is the ultimate goal for financial freedom, it often starts with active income. Many millionaires use their active income to invest in passive income opportunities. The key is learning how to make the transition from working for your money to having your money work for you. If you're just starting on your wealth-building journey, your first step will likely involve building active income streams. This could mean taking on additional freelance work, starting a side business, or offering consulting services. The beauty of active income is that you have control over how much effort you put in, and in many cases the more effort and skill you apply, the more you can earn. Here are some examples of active income streams you can create. 1. Freelancing or consulting. Use your skills to offer freelance services or consulting in areas such as writing, graphic design, marketing, coaching, or financial advising. 
2. Part-time business. If you have a passion or hobby that can be monetized, start a small business on the side. This could be anything from creating an online store, offering photography services, or selling handmade crafts. 3. Tutoring or teaching. If you have expertise in a particular field, consider tutoring or teaching others, either in person or online. Platforms like Udemy, Skillshare, or Teachable make it easy to create and sell online courses. 4. Real estate agent or property management. With the right licenses and knowledge, working part-time in real estate can be a high-reward active income stream. It can also lead to valuable experience for future real estate investments. Active income is an excellent starting point, but the long-term goal should always be to use it as a stepping stone to build passive income streams. Let's look at how to do that next. Passive income is where true financial freedom lies. Once these streams are established, they generate income consistently with little to no ongoing effort. Millionaires know this, and they focus on building passive income streams that grow over time. While the initial setup may require investment, time, or effort, passive income allows you to free up your time and reduce dependence on active work. Here are a few common ways to generate passive income. 1. Investing in the stock market. This is one of the most accessible ways to generate passive income. By investing in dividend-paying stocks, index funds, or mutual funds, you can earn regular returns on your investments without having to do any active work once your money is invested. 2. Real estate investments. Buying rental properties is another popular passive income strategy. While there's initial work in purchasing and setting up the property, rental income continues to flow in as long as tenants occupy the property. 3. Building an online business. Creating an online business that can generate passive income is another powerful strategy. This could be anything from building a dropshipping e-commerce store, monetizing a blog, or creating digital products such as e-books or courses that sell without ongoing effort. 4. Royalties from intellectual property. If you're a creator, royalties from books, music, or other intellectual property can generate passive income for years. Every time someone buys your book or streams your song, you earn income without additional work. 5. Peer-to-peer -peer lending or crowdfunding investments. Platforms like Lending Club and Fundrise allow you to invest in peer-to-peer -peer lending or real estate crowdfunding, generating passive returns based on the success of those investments. One of the most overlooked advantages of creating multiple streams of income is the power of compound income. When you have several income streams working together, the returns multiply, creating exponential growth. For example, if you're earning rental income from a property while also making returns on stock investments and building a side business, your overall wealth grows much faster than relying on a single source of income. Millionaires understand this, and they take full advantage of it by diversifying early and often. The more sources of income you create, the more freedom you'll have. The goal isn't just to survive, it's to thrive and build long-lasting wealth. Let's get practical. Here are some action steps you can take to start diversifying your income. 1. Assess your current income. Look at your current income sources. Do you rely entirely on one paycheck? If so, start brainstorming ways to create additional streams of income. 2. Choose an active income stream to build. Start with something manageable. If you have extra time, consider freelancing or launching a small side business. The key is to use the skills you already have and expand them into profitable ventures. 3. Plan for passive income. Start researching investments or businesses that can generate passive income. Whether it's real estate, stocks, or an online business, decide where you'd like to focus your efforts to grow passive streams. 4. Invest in your financial education. Don't be afraid to learn more about the stock market, real estate, or other wealth-building tools. The more you know, the more opportunities you'll see to create income. 5. Automate your investments. If you're investing in stocks or real estate, automate your investments so that money is regularly added to your portfolio without requiring active management. This way, you're growing wealth without having to think about it daily. Now that you've laid the groundwork for creating multiple income streams, the next step is to ensure your money is working for you. In the next chapter, we'll explore the essential money management techniques that millionaires use to turn income into lasting wealth. Chapter 3. Money Management. Turning Income into Wealth. Creating multiple streams of income is a powerful step toward financial security. But generating income is only part of the equation. 
The real key to lasting wealth lies in how you manage that income. Without proper money management, even high earners can find themselves struggling financially. Millionaires understand that it's not just about how much you make, it's about how much you keep and how wisely you use it to grow your wealth. In this chapter we'll dive into the strategies that millionaires use to manage their money effectively, allowing them to multiply their wealth and reach financial freedom. From budgeting to smart investing, this chapter will give you the tools to turn your income into lasting financial success. One of the most important lessons in money management is understanding the difference between spending and investing. Spending is what most people do, they earn money, and then they use it to buy things that depreciate in value, like cars, clothes, gadgets, and entertainment. While some spending is necessary for living, it's important to recognize that spending often leaves you with nothing but temporary satisfaction. Investing, on the other hand, is how millionaires think about money. Investing means putting your money into assets that have the potential to grow in value over time. When you invest, you're not just using your money, you're making it work for you. Instead of buying that brand new car that loses value the moment you drive it off the lot, millionaires put their money into stocks, real estate, or businesses that generate returns. The first step to managing your money like a millionaire is to prioritize investing over spending. This doesn't mean you have to deprive yourself of all pleasures, but it does mean shifting your mindset to focus on long-term gains rather than short-term gratification. Budgeting is often seen as something restrictive, but millionaires view budgeting as a powerful tool for building wealth. A well-planned budget allows you to control your money rather than letting it control you. The goal of a budget isn't to limit your lifestyle, but to ensure that every dollar you earn is working to increase your wealth. Here's how to create a millionaire's budget. 1. Track your expenses. Start by tracking every dollar you spend for a month. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going. You might be surprised at how much you're spending on things that don't add value to your life. 2. Categorize your spending. Divide your expenses into categories like housing, utilities, food, entertainment, and discretionary spending. Then, identify which of these categories are essential and which are areas where you could cut back. 3. Set savings and investment goals. A millionaire's budget always includes saving and investing as priorities. Set a goal to save a certain percentage of your income each month and put it toward investments that will grow over time. 4. Automate your savings. One of the easiest ways to stick to a budget is to automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to a savings or investment account, so you're building wealth without even thinking about it. 5. Review and adjust regularly. Your budget isn't set in stone. Review it regularly to ensure that it aligns with your financial goals. As your income grows, your budget should evolve to reflect that growth, allowing you to save and invest more. Millionaires understand the power of saving early and consistently. One of the most powerful tools in wealth building is compound interest, the ability of your money to grow exponentially over time as it earns interest on top of interest. The earlier you start saving, the more time you give your money to compound and grow. Let's look at an example. If you start saving $500 a month at age 25 and your investments grow at an average rate of 7% per year, you'll have nearly $1.3 million by the time you're 65. If you wait until age 35 to start saving the same amount, you'll end up with only about $600,000 by age 65. That's the power of starting early. It doesn't matter how much you start with, the important thing is to start. Even small contributions to your savings and investments can grow into significant wealth over time, if you're consistent. One of the biggest traps that even high earners fall into is lifestyle inflation, the tendency to increase spending as your income grows. It's easy to fall into this trap. You get a raise or a bonus, and suddenly you feel justified in upgrading your car, buying a bigger house, or taking more expensive vacations. While it's perfectly fine to enjoy the fruits of your labor, lifestyle inflation can prevent you from building lasting wealth. Millionaires understand this, which is why they often choose to live below their means even as their wealth grows. They don't allow their spending to increase at the same rate as their income. By keeping your spending in check as your income grows, you create more opportunities to save and invest, which accelerates your path to financial freedom, turning income into assets. The ultimate goal of money management is to turn your income into assets that generate more income. This is the essence of building wealth, using the money you earn to create or buy assets that grow in value and generate passive income. 
the more assets you accumulate, the more wealth you'll have, and the less you'll need to rely on non-active income from your job or business. Here are a few ways to turn your income into assets. 1. Invest in the stock market. Stocks, mutual funds, and index funds are excellent vehicles for growing your wealth. By regularly investing in the market, you're buying ownership in companies that can grow in value and pay dividends. 2. Buy real estate. Real estate is another powerful asset that can generate both appreciation and rental income. Millionaires often use their income to buy properties that produce ongoing cash flow. 3. Start a business. Many millionaires invest their money into starting or expanding a business. This can create a significant source of income that doesn't rely on your personal labor. 4. Create intellectual property. If you have creative skills, consider investing your time and money into creating intellectual property, such as books, music, or patents, which can generate royalties and passive income for years to come. The more you focus on turning your income into assets, the faster you'll build long-term wealth. Here are some practical steps you can take to improve your money management. 1. Create a budget. If you don't already have a budget, start by tracking your spending and categorizing your expenses. Create a plan that allows you to save and invest a percentage of your income each month. 2. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers to ensure that you're consistently saving and investing without needing to think about it. 3. Invest early and often. Start investing as soon as possible, even if it's a small amount. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. 4. Avoid lifestyle inflation. Be mindful of how your spending changes as your income grows. Don't let lifestyle inflation prevent you from saving and investing more. 5. Turn income into assets. Look for opportunities to turn your active income into assets that generate passive income, such as stocks, real estate, or businesses. Now that you have a solid foundation for managing your money, it's time to explore how to make your money work for you. In the next chapter, we'll dive into smart investment strategies that allow you to build wealth passively and accelerate your journey to financial freedom. Chapter 4. Investing Smart. Making your money work for you. Money doesn't grow by accident. One of the most crucial lessons on the path to wealth is learning how to make your money work for you. The strategy? Smart investing. Successful millionaires understand that it's not enough to earn money. You must also put that money to work in ways that will multiply your wealth over time. This chapter will show you how to invest intelligently so your money can grow while you sleep. Investing may seem intimidating at first, but it's one of the most powerful tools for building wealth. Whether it's the stock market, real estate, or starting your own business, each investment has the potential to generate income and grow your financial future. The Power of Compound Interest Let's start with one of the most magical concepts in investing, compound interest. Albert Einstein famously called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world, and for good reason. It's the simple yet powerful idea that your money can grow exponentially over time. Here's how it works when you invest money. The returns on that investment generate their own returns, and the process keeps repeating. This leads to an ever-growing snowball effect, where your wealth compounds faster and faster. For example, if you invest $10,000 today at an average annual return of 7%, in 10 years, your investment would grow to almost $20,000 without any additional input from you. But here's where compound interest really shines. In 20 years, that same $10,000 would grow to nearly $40,000, and in 30 years, it would balloon to over $76,000. That's the power of letting your money work for you over time. The key takeaway? Start investing as early as possible and let the magic of compound interest do the heavy lifting. Diversifying your investments. Just as millionaires create multiple streams of income, they also know the importance of diversifying their investments. Simply put, diversification means spreading your money across different types of investments to minimize risk. If one investment doesn't perform well, others might, helping to balance out any losses. Here are a few common investment vehicles you can use to diversify your portfolio. 1. Stocks. Investing in the stock market allows you to own a piece of a company. Stocks can grow in value over time, and many companies also pay dividends to their shareholders, providing regular passive income. Stocks can be volatile in the short term, but over the long term, they have historically delivered strong returns. 2. Bonds. Bonds are essentially loans that you give to governments or companies. In return, they pay you interest. 
while bonds typically offer lower returns than stocks, they are considered a safer investment, making them a great way to balance a more aggressive portfolio. 3. Real Estate Real estate is a favorite investment of millionaires because it can generate both appreciation as property values rise and passive income through rent. Buying rental properties or investing in real estate investment trusts, REITs allows you to profit from the real estate market without needing to manage properties directly. 4. Mutual Funds and ETFs These are collections of stocks, bonds, or other securities which allow you to invest in a broad range of assets with a single purchase. Mutual funds and exchange-traded funds ETFs provide instant diversification and are an easy way for beginners to get started in the market. 5. Businesses Starting or investing in a business is another way to grow your wealth. Successful businesses generate profits and, if managed well, can scale to provide significant returns. Many millionaires reinvest their earnings into businesses that align with their skills or passions. By spreading your investments across different asset classes, you can reduce the risk of losing money while still positioning yourself for long-term gains. It's the don't put all your eggs in one basket strategy. It's important to understand that every investment carries risk. The key to investing smartly is balancing the potential for reward with the risk involved. Some investments, like stocks, offer high potential returns but come with higher risk due to market volatility. Others, like bonds or savings accounts, are more stable but provide lower returns. Millionaires are not reckless with their money. They are calculated risk-takers. They assess the risk and reward of every investment before deciding where to put their money. This doesn't mean avoiding risk altogether, but rather making informed decisions based on research and understanding the market. One effective way to manage risk is to follow the rule of asset allocation. This strategy involves dividing your investment portfolio into different asset categories such as stocks, bonds, and real estate based on your risk tolerance goals and time horizon. For example, if you're young and have a long time to invest, you might allocate more of your portfolio to higher risk investments like stocks because you have time to ride out market volatility. As you get closer to retirement, you may shift your portfolio towards more stable investments like bonds. Millionaires don't chase get-rich-quick schemes, they invest for the long term. The stock market and real estate markets can fluctuate dramatically in the short term but over time, they tend to grow. By keeping a long-term perspective, millionaires can weather the ups and downs of the market without panicking or making impulsive decisions. When investing, it's crucial to stay patient and committed to your strategy. Trying to time the market, buying low and selling high, often leads to costly mistakes. Instead, millionaires follow a buy-and-hold strategy. They invest in solid assets and hold on to them for the long term, allowing compound interest and market growth to do their work. Even during periods of market downturns or recessions, millionaires stay the course. They understand that temporary declines are part of the investment journey and that markets typically recover over time. By maintaining a long-term mindset, you too can avoid the emotional pitfalls of short-term investing. The power of reinvesting. Another key to growing wealth through investing is reinvesting your returns. Instead of spending the dividends or profits from your investments, reinvest them back into your portfolio. This accelerates the compounding process and allows your money to grow even faster. For example, if your stocks pay you dividends, use that money to buy more shares rather than cashing it out. If your rental property generates income, consider using the profits to invest in additional real estate or other assets. The more you reinvest, the more opportunities you create for your wealth to grow. Here are some practical steps you can take to start investing smartly. 1. Educate yourself. Take the time to learn about the different types of investments available to you. Understanding how stocks, bonds, real estate, and other assets work will help you make informed decisions. 2. Start small and grow. You don't need a lot of money to start investing. Begin with what you can afford and increase your investments as your income grows. The key is to start early and stay consistent. 3. Diversify your portfolio. Spread your investments across different asset classes to reduce risk and increase the potential for steady returns. 4. Think long-term. Focus on building wealth over the long haul, rather than chasing short-term gains. Stick to your investment plan and trust the power of compounding. 5. Reinvest your returns. Don't cash out your earnings. Reinvest them into your portfolio to accelerate growth. 
Now that you've learned how to make your money work for you, there's one more thing standing in the way of financial freedom, debt. In the next chapter, we'll dive into mastering debt so you can break free from its grip and leverage good debt to grow your wealth. Chapter 5. Mastering Debt. Breaking Free and Leveraging Good Debt. Debt is a double-edged sword. It can either hold you back from achieving financial freedom or, if used wisely, become a powerful tool for building wealth. In this chapter, we'll explore how to take control of debt, eliminate the bad kinds that drain your financial resources, and strategically use good debt to grow your wealth. Many people are weighed down by debt, and it can feel like a never-ending burden. Credit cards, student loans, car loans, the list goes on. These debts can trap you in a cycle of monthly payments, interest charges, and financial stress. But there is a way out. Millionaires know how to break free from bad debt and leverage good debt to their advantage. Let's start by understanding the difference between the two. Good debt versus bad debt. Not all debt is created equal. Understanding the distinction between good debt and bad debt is crucial for financial success. Bad debt. This type of debt is incurred when you borrow money to buy things that depreciate in value or don't generate income. Credit card debt, personal loans, and auto loans often fall into this category. Bad debt costs you money, adds interest over time, and leaves you with less financial flexibility. Good debt. On the other hand, good debt is debt that is used to invest in assets that appreciate in value or generate income. A mortgage on a rental property, a business loan to expand your company, or student loans that lead to higher income potential are all examples of good debt. These debts can help you build wealth over time if managed properly. Millionaires don't fear debt, but they understand that debt needs to be used strategically. They avoid bad debt like the plague and focus on using good debt to grow their income and assets. Eliminating bad debt. Before you can leverage good debt for wealth building, you must first free yourself from the shackles of bad debt. Bad debt, with its high interest rates and monthly payments, can drain your resources and limit your ability to save and invest. Here are some effective strategies to eliminate bad debt. 1. The snowball method. This popular method involves paying off your smallest debts first, then using the money you free up from those payments to tackle the next smallest debt. As you clear each debt, the amount of money available to pay down the next one grows, creating a snowball effect. 2. The Avalanche Method With this method, you focus on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first. This approach minimizes the amount of interest you'll pay over time, saving you money in the long run. Once the highest interest debt is cleared, you move on to the next one. 3. Debt Consolidation If you have multiple high-interest debts, Consolidating them into a single loan with a lower interest rate can make them more manageable. This can simplify your monthly payments and reduce the overall amount of interest you pay. 4. Negotiate lower interest rates. Don't be afraid to call your credit card company or lender and negotiate a lower interest rate. A simple phone call can result in savings, especially if you've been a reliable customer. 5. Increase your income. If you're serious about paying off debt quickly, Consider taking on additional work or finding a side hustle to increase your income. The extra money can be used to aggressively pay down your debts and get you closer to financial freedom. The goal is to get rid of bad debt as quickly as possible. Once you've eliminated high interest, non-productive debt, you'll have more money to invest in building your wealth. Living debt-free is a powerful financial milestone. Without the burden of monthly debt payments, you're free to allocate your income towards savings, investments, and wealth-building opportunities. Imagine what you could achieve if you weren't making payments on credit cards, car loans, or personal loans each month. The freedom from debt gives you control over your financial future. Debt not only affects your wallet but also your mind. The psychological relief of being debt-free is just as significant as the financial benefits. When you're no longer worried about bills and interest payments, you can think more clearly, make better decisions, and focus on growing your wealth. This sense of liberation is why many millionaires prioritize paying off bad debt early in their wealth-building journey. Once they've freed themselves from bad debt, they can focus entirely on multiplying their income and assets. Once you've eliminated bad debt, you can begin to see debt as a tool rather than a burden. Millionaires use good debt strategically to grow their wealth. By borrowing money to invest in appreciating assets, they can increase their net worth and create new income streams. Here's how you can leverage good debt. 1. 
Real Estate Investments One of the most common ways millionaires use good debt is through real estate. For example, taking out a mortgage to buy a rental property can be considered good debt if the rental income exceeds the mortgage payments and other expenses. Over time, the property can appreciate in value, generating both rental income and equity growth. 2. Business Expansion If you run a profitable business, taking out a loan to expand operations can lead to higher revenues and profits. Whether it's investing in new equipment, hiring additional staff, or opening a new location, strategic use of debt can accelerate business growth and increase your income. 3. Education and Skills Development Borrowing money to invest in education or training that will significantly increase your earning potential is another example of good debt. For instance, taking out a student loan to earn a degree in a high-demand field can result in a substantial return on investment over time as higher income makes it easier to pay off the debt and build wealth. The key to leveraging good debt is ensuring that the asset or investment you're financing generates more value than the debt costs you. Millionaires always assess the potential return on investment before taking on any debt, ensuring that their borrowing leads to wealth creation rather than financial strain. While good debt can be a powerful tool for building wealth, it still requires careful management. Here are some guidelines for using good debt safely. 1. Have a clear repayment plan. Before taking on any debt, ensure you have a clear and realistic plan for repaying it. This should include a budget that factors in debt payments without compromising your other financial goals. 2. Borrow within your means. Even with good debt, it's important not to overextend yourself. Borrow only what you can comfortably repay based on your current and projected income. 3. Monitor interest rates. Keep an eye on interest rates when borrowing. Even with good debt, high interest can eat into your profits or returns. Always aim for the lowest interest rate possible. 4. Stay disciplined. Just because debt can be a tool doesn't mean it should be used recklessly. Stay disciplined in how and when you use debt, ensuring that each loan or credit line serves a specific wealth-building purpose. Here are some practical steps you can take to master debt. 1. Eliminate bad debt. If you're carrying any high-interest consumer debt, create a plan to pay it off as quickly as possible. Use the snowball or avalanche method to stay focused and make progress. 2. Live below your means. Avoid taking on new bad debt by living below your means. Make a commitment to only spend what you can afford without relying on credit. 3. Leverage good debt. Once you're free from bad debt, consider how you can use good debt strategically. Whether it's buying an investment property or expanding a business, use debt to build wealth, not deplete it. 4. Stay educated. Continually educate yourself on debt management and investing. The more you know, the more confidently you can make decisions about borrowing and leveraging debt for growth. Now that you've mastered debt, it's time to focus on scaling your income. In the next chapter, we'll explore how to unlock high earning potential by focusing on value creation and leveraging your skills. Chapter 6. Scaling Your Income. Unlocking High Earning Potential. Now that you've taken control of your debt and learned how to use good debt strategically, it's time to focus on what truly accelerates your journey to millionaire status, scaling your income. Millionaires don't rely on linear growth. They find ways to exponentially increase their earning potential. To do this, they focus on value creation and leveraging their skills, networks, and assets in ways that allow them to earn more without necessarily working more hours. Scaling your income is about stepping beyond the typical mindset of trading time for money and instead, finding opportunities to create scalable, high-impact income streams. Whether through business, investments, or honing your high-income skills, this chapter will show you how to unlock your potential to earn more. Most people are stuck in the trap of exchanging time for money. You go to work, you clock in hours, and you get paid for the time you spend there. While this can be a reliable way to earn a living, it has inherent limitations. There are only 24 hours in a day, and no matter how hard you work, your income is capped by the time available. Millionaires understand that the path to financial freedom involves escaping this trap. They seek ways to generate income that isn't tied to their direct effort, income that continues to flow, even when they're not actively working. This is where the concept of leverage comes in. Leverage allows you to scale your efforts and income far beyond what you could achieve on your own. To scale your income, the first shift you need to make is from a time-based mindset to a value-based mindset. 
instead of thinking, how much can I earn per hour? Start asking, how much value can I create for others? The more value you provide, the more you can charge, and the more people you can impact, the higher your income will grow. Think about it like this if you're working a job that pays $20 per hour, you're limited to earning $160 for an 8-hour day. But what if you created a product or service that solves a problem for hundreds or even thousands of people? The potential for income becomes far greater because you've created value that can scale far beyond your personal effort. Another way to scale your income is by developing high-income skills, skills that are in high demand and command premium rates. Millionaires often focus on mastering skills that allow them to charge more for their time or create high-value products and services that can be leveraged into scalable businesses. Here are a few high-income skills that can unlock significant earning potential. 1. Sales and Negotiation The ability to sell products, services, or ideas is one of the most lucrative skills you can develop. Whether you're selling your own products or negotiating business deals, mastering sales can lead to significant financial gains. 2. Marketing and Branding In today's digital age, businesses are built on marketing and branding. Learning how to position products and services in a way that attracts customers is a valuable skill that can lead to high-income opportunities, whether as a business owner or consultant. 3. Software Development and Technology The tech industry continues to grow, and those with coding or software development skills are in high demand. These skills are not only lucrative but also provide opportunities to build scalable digital products. 4. Investing in financial acumen. Understanding how to invest in stocks, real estate, and other assets can dramatically increase your income. Many millionaires use their financial knowledge to create investment strategies that generate exponential returns. 5. Content creation and personal branding. With the rise of social media, the ability to create valuable content and build a personal brand can lead to significant income through monetization strategies such as sponsorships, affiliate marketing, and product sales. Once you've developed a high income skill, the next step is to figure out how to leverage that skill to reach more people. For example, instead of offering one on one consulting, you could create an online course or write a book that allows you to share your expertise with thousands of people simultaneously. This shifts your income from a time based model to a value based model that scales. Building scalable business models. Millionaires don't just work for money, they build businesses that generate money. A scalable business model is one where the growth of the business doesn't rely solely on the owner's personal time and effort. Instead, it grows through systems, teams, and automation. Here are a few scalable business models to consider. 1. E-commerce Selling products online is one of the most scalable business models available today. Whether you're selling physical products through platforms like Amazon or Shopify or digital products like e-books and courses, E-commerce allows you to reach a global audience without needing to trade time for money. 2. Subscription-based services. Businesses that operate on a subscription model, such as software services or membership sites, are highly scalable. Once the system is in place, customers pay recurring fees, generating consistent income with minimal ongoing effort. 3. Digital products. Creating digital products like online courses, ebooks, or software tools allows you to generate income from each sale without needing to produce physical inventory. This model is particularly powerful because it can be replicated indefinitely. 4. Affiliate Marketing If you have a blog, YouTube channel, or social media following, affiliate marketing allows you to promote other people's products and earn a commission on each sale. This is a scalable way to generate income by leveraging your audience. 5. Franchising or licensing. If you've built a successful business, you can scale by franchising it or licensing your systems and processes to others. This allows you to grow your brand and income without personally managing every location or operation. Leveraging technology to multiply your impact. In today's digital age, technology plays a key role in scaling income. Automation tools, social media platforms, and digital marketing strategies allow you to reach more people and manage larger operations without increasing your personal workload. Millionaires use technology to automate processes. From customer service chatbots to automated email campaigns, technology can handle repetitive tasks, freeing up your time to focus on higher value activities. Reach a global audience. Through websites, social media, and online advertising, businesses can reach customers around the world 24-7. This ability to scale globally is a key factor in growing income exponentially. 
As mentioned earlier, digital products can be sold and distributed online at virtually no cost. Millionaires create courses, ebooks, and software that provide ongoing income with little additional effort once they're developed. By leveraging technology, you can multiply the impact of your efforts, reaching far more people than you ever could through traditional methods. The result? Exponential income growth. To help you start scaling your income, here are some actionable steps. 1. Identify your high-income skill. Take some time to assess your strengths and identify a skill that can unlock high-earning potential. Whether it's sales, technology, or marketing, focus on mastering it. 2. Develop a scalable offer. Once you've mastered your skill, think about how you can scale it. Could you create a course? Build a digital product? Start a subscription service? Think about ways to reach more people with less personal effort. 3. Leverage technology. Look for tools and platforms that can help you automate processes and reach a wider audience. Whether it's using email marketing software or social media ads, find ways to scale without adding more to your workload. 4. Focus on value creation. Always ask yourself how you can provide more value to others. The more value you create, the more opportunities for scalable income will arise. 5. Think big. Don't limit your goals to just increasing your hourly rate. Think about how you can leverage your skills and assets to build a business or income stream that grows exponentially over time. With your income on the rise, the next step is to build a network that supports your goals. In the next chapter, we'll dive into the power of networking like a millionaire, how to surround yourself with success and fast-track your financial growth. Chapter 7. Networking like a millionaire. Surround yourself with success. Now that you're on the path to scaling your income, there's another essential ingredient to accelerating your wealth-building journey, networking. Millionaires understand the power of surrounding themselves with the right people, individuals who inspire, support, and challenge them to grow. The saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, is more than just a cliché, it's a principle that can directly influence your success. In this chapter we'll explore how to build a strong, supportive network that propels you forward, how to strategically connect with high-value individuals, and how to ensure that the relationships in your life align with your financial goals. One of the biggest differentiators between those who achieve massive success and those who stay stuck is the quality of their network. When you spend time with ambitious, successful people, their habits, mindset and knowledge naturally influence you. You absorb their way of thinking and they expose you to opportunities you may not have otherwise encountered. On the flip side, if you surround yourself with negative or complacent people, their limiting beliefs and lack of ambition can rub off on you. You might find yourself thinking smaller, doubting your potential, or staying stuck in the same patterns as those around you. This is why millionaires are intentional about their relationships. They actively seek out individuals who uplift and motivate them, whether through mentorship, friendship, or business collaboration. These relationships serve as a foundation for growth, both personally and financially. So how do you begin building a network that supports your wealth-building journey? It starts with your circle of influence, the group of people you interact with most frequently. These individuals have a significant impact on your mindset, decisions, and ultimately your success. If you want to elevate your life, you need to be surrounded by people who elevate you. Here's how to start building a strong circle of influence. 1. Identify key mentors and role models. Look for individuals who have achieved the kind of success you aspire to. These could be people in your industry, business leaders, or even online influencers who inspire you. While you may not have direct access to all of these people, you can still learn from them by reading their books, following their advice, and observing their habits. 2. Evaluate your current relationships. Take a look at the people you spend the most time with. Are they pushing you toward your goals, or are they holding you back? It's not easy, but sometimes you may need to distance yourself from negative influences that don't align with your financial aspirations. 3. Attend networking events. Join business, entrepreneurial, or investment-focused events where you can meet like-minded people. These environments are rich with opportunities to connect with others who share your goals and values. 4. Join mastermind groups. Mastermind groups are small, focused gatherings of individuals who come together to share knowledge, support one another, and hold each other accountable. Many millionaires credit mastermind groups with helping them scale their businesses and grow personally.
look for a mastermind group that aligns with your financial goals, or consider starting your own. 5. Be generous in your connections. Networking isn't just about what others can do for you, it's about building reciprocal relationships. Offer your help, share your knowledge, and be supportive of others' goals. When you give generously to your network, you'll find that opportunities come back to you in ways you never expected. Networking isn't just about quantity, it's about quality. Millionaires don't try to connect with everyone. Instead, they focus on building high-value relationships with people who can help them grow and expand their opportunities. These individuals might be successful entrepreneurs, investors, industry leaders, or experts in fields that complement your own. Here's how to strategically connect with high-value individuals. 1. Do your homework. Before reaching out to someone you admire or want to connect with, do your research. Understand their background, their work, and what they care about. This allows you to approach them in a meaningful way, demonstrating that you're genuinely interested in building a relationship, not just asking for a favor. 2. Offer value first. When you're trying to connect with someone successful, lead with value. How can you help them? Whether it's sharing insights, offering to assist with a project, or introducing them to someone valuable, giving before asking is a key principle in building strong connections. 3. Engage in their community. If the person you want to connect with is active online, engage with their content. Comment on their posts, share their insights, and contribute thoughtfully to their community. This can help you build rapport before you even meet in person. 4. Leverage common ground. Look for common interests or connections you may share with the person you want to meet. Whether it's attending the same event or being introduced through a mutual acquaintance, finding common ground makes the connection more natural. 5. Follow up and stay in touch. Building relationships isn't a one-time event. After you've made a connection, be sure to follow up and stay in touch. Send a thank you note, update them on your progress, or check in regularly to maintain the relationship. One of the most powerful forms of networking is finding a mentor. A mentor is someone who has already achieved what you want to achieve and can guide you along your journey. Mentorship is invaluable because it allows you to learn from someone else's experience, avoiding pitfalls and gaining insights that accelerate your growth. Millionaires often have mentors or advisors who help them navigate complex decisions and provide advice on their business, investments, and personal development. Here's how you can find and benefit from mentorship. 1. Be clear about what you want. When seeking a mentor, be specific about what you hope to learn. Are you looking for guidance on starting a business, investing in real estate, or scaling your income? The clearer you are, the easier it will be to find a mentor who aligns with your goals. 2. Look for mentors in your network. You may already know someone who could serve as a mentor. Reach out to them and express your desire to learn from their experience. Be respectful of their time and be prepared with specific questions or challenges you'd like help with. 3. Don't expect a formal relationship. Mentorship doesn't always have to be formal or long-term. Sometimes, a single conversation with the right person can provide the breakthrough insight you need. Don't be afraid to seek out small opportunities to learn from those around you. 4. Be a great mentee. When you do find a mentor, be sure to take action on their advice and show them that you value their guidance. Mentors want to see their mentee succeed, so the best way to build a strong mentor relationship is to follow through on what you learn. In addition to finding new connections, it's important to nurture your existing relationships. The people closest to you can either be a source of support or a source of stress. Millionaires make sure that the relationships in their life align with their personal and financial goals. They surround themselves with people who encourage their growth and push them to think bigger. Here's how to maintain relationships that align with your success. 1. Communicate your goals. Be open with your friends, family, and colleagues about your financial goals. Let them know what you're working toward and why it's important to you. This helps create an environment of understanding and support. 2. Set boundaries. If there are people in your life who are negative or unsupportive of your goals, it's okay to set boundaries. This doesn't mean you need to cut people off, but you can limit the time and energy you spend on relationships that don't serve your growth. 3. Celebrate success together. Share your wins with your network and celebrate their successes too. Building a community of positive reinforcement helps everyone stay motivated and inspired. 4. Seek accountability partners. Find someone in your network who can hold you accountable for your goals. 
This could be a friend, colleague, or mentor. Regularly check in with each other to track progress and stay on course. You've built a strong network, but how do you keep the momentum going? In the next chapter, we'll discuss how to stay accountable and consistent in your actions, the key pillars for achieving lasting wealth. Chapter 8 Accountability and Consistency The Pillars of Lasting Wealth You've learned how to build a millionaire mindset, diversify your income, manage your money, invest smartly, and build a strong network. But none of these strategies will get you to financial freedom unless you are consistent in your actions and hold yourself accountable along the way. Millionaires don't reach their goals through sporadic effort or by hoping for success, they get there by committing to long-term habits and holding themselves to a high standard of accountability. In this final chapter, we'll explore how to stay consistent with your wealth-building strategies, create systems that hold you accountable, and ensure that your habits align with the success you want to achieve. The Power of Consistency in Wealth Building The path to becoming a millionaire is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Building wealth takes time, discipline, and most importantly, consistency. Many people start strong with ambitious goals but lose momentum when they don't see immediate results. Millionaires, however, understand that the key to achieving significant financial success is to keep moving forward, even when progress seems slow. Consistency is what turns small, daily actions into extraordinary results over time. Whether it's saving money, investing regularly, or growing a business, the compound effect of consistent effort is what ultimately leads to financial breakthroughs. Think about it like this. If you save and invest just $500 a month and earn an average return of 7% annually, after 20 years you'll have over $250,000. But if you miss months or stop investing halfway through, you break the chain of compounding growth and your results suffer. It's the people who stick to their plan and consistently take action that reap the greatest rewards. To stay consistent, you need to develop habits that support your financial goals. Habits are the building blocks of success, small actions you take every day that eventually lead to major results. Millionaires don't rely on motivation alone to achieve their goals. Instead, they create systems of habits that ensure they stay on track, even when they don't feel like it. Here are some key habits that can support your wealth-building journey. 1. Automate your savings and investments. One of the best ways to ensure consistency is to automate your savings and investments. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts so that you're consistently building wealth without needing to remember to do it manually. 2. Track your progress regularly. Just as businesses track their financial health through monthly reports, you should review your own financial progress on a regular basis. Whether it's checking your investment portfolio, reviewing your budget, or tracking your income growth, Regular check-ins help you stay aware of your financial situation and adjust your strategy as needed. 3. Set daily or weekly financial goals. Break down your larger financial goals into smaller, manageable tasks that you can achieve daily or weekly. For example, instead of just saying, I want to save $10,000 this year, commit to saving $200 each week. Smaller goals feel more achievable and keep you on track. 4. Celebrate milestones. Celebrating small wins along the way helps you stay motivated. Whether you've paid off a credit card, hit a savings milestone, or closed your first real estate deal, take time to acknowledge your progress. These celebrations reinforce positive habits and keep you moving forward. Consistency is important, but without accountability, even the best habits can fall by the wayside. Holding yourself accountable means taking responsibility for your actions and ensuring that you stay on course, even when things get difficult. Millionaires don't wait for someone else to push them. They create systems that hold themselves accountable to their goals. Here are some strategies to keep yourself accountable. 1. Set clear, measurable goals. If you don't have specific goals, it's impossible to hold yourself accountable. Instead of vague targets like I want to save more money, set clear and measurable goals, such as I will save $1,000 by the end of the quarter. The more specific you are, the easier it is to measure your progress. 2. Use accountability partners. One of the best ways to stay accountable is to involve someone else in your journey. Find a trusted friend, mentor, or colleague who shares your goals and check in with each other regularly. Whether it's a weekly meeting or a monthly progress report, 
having someone to hold you accountable increases your chances of staying consistent. 3. Create a routine. Habits are easier to maintain when they're part of a routine. Set specific times each week to review your finances, make investment decisions, or work on your side business. By establishing a routine, you create a sense of discipline that makes it easier to stay consistent over the long term. 4. Track and reflect. Accountability doesn't just mean setting goals, it means reflecting on your progress. Take time at the end of each month or quarter to review what you've accomplished, where you fell short, and what adjustments you need to make. This process of reflection ensures that you're constantly improving and moving closer to your financial goals. Overcoming setbacks. No wealth building journey is without challenges. You may encounter setbacks like unexpected expenses, investment losses, or even moments where your motivation wanes. The difference between those who succeed and those who give up is how they respond to setbacks. Millionaires view setbacks not as failures, but as learning opportunities. Here's how to overcome setbacks and stay accountable. 1. Accept that setbacks are part of the process. Understand that setbacks are inevitable. Rather than letting them derail your progress, accept them as part of the journey. Use setbacks as an opportunity to learn and adjust your strategy. 2. Focus on what you can control. You can't control the stock market, the economy, or unexpected life events, but you can control your actions and responses. Stay focused on what you can control, your savings habits, your spending decisions, and your mindset, and continue moving forward. 3. Get back on track quickly. The longer you dwell on a setback, the harder it is to recover. When you experience a financial challenge, refocus quickly. Evaluate what went wrong, make the necessary adjustments, and get back on track as soon as possible. While accountability keeps you on track, discipline is what ensures you stay the course even when the going gets tough. Millionaires often talk about the importance of discipline in their success. They stay focused on their goals, make sacrifices when necessary, and maintain their efforts long after others have given up. Discipline isn't about deprivation, it's about staying committed to the habits and actions that lead to wealth. It's the ability to say no to short-term temptations in favor of long-term rewards. Whether it's resisting the urge to spend impulsively, sticking to a strict savings plan, or consistently investing even during uncertain times, discipline is the key to financial independence. Millionaires keep their eyes on the bigger picture. They don't get distracted by short-term gains or setbacks. Instead, they remain focused on their long-term vision of wealth and success. This focus helps them stay consistent, disciplined, and accountable throughout their journey. To stay focused on your vision. 1. Visualize your success. Regularly take time to visualize your financial success. Imagine what your life will look like when you achieve your goals. This mental picture helps you stay motivated and keeps you focused on the bigger picture. 2. Review your goals frequently. Don't set your goals once and forget about them. Review them regularly, remind yourself why you're pursuing them, and adjust as needed. 3. Keep a long-term perspective. Wealth building is a long game. Stay patient, and remind yourself that every small step you take brings you closer to your ultimate goal. Trust in the process, and don't get discouraged by short-term setbacks. Here are some practical steps to stay consistent and accountable. 1. Automate your financial habits. Set up automatic transfers for savings and investments to ensure consistency without relying on willpower. 2. Create an accountability system. Whether through an accountability partner, a mentor, or regular progress reviews, find a way to hold yourself accountable for your financial goals. 3. Celebrate milestones. Reward yourself for hitting key milestones, both big and small. Celebrating progress helps maintain motivation. 4. Reflect and adjust. Regularly review your financial journey, assess your progress, and make adjustments to your strategy as needed. With a solid foundation in place, your journey to financial independence doesn't stop here. Continue refining your skills, expanding your investments, and leveraging the power of consistency and accountability as you build your lasting legacy. Final word. You've now equipped yourself with the knowledge, strategies, and mindset necessary to build a life of financial abundance. And from cultivating the right mindset to creating multiple streams of income, managing your finances, investing smartly, and building a powerful network, you're on the path to millionaire status. But remember, success isn't achieved overnight. It's a journey, one that requires persistence, discipline, and unwavering belief in your ability to create the life you desire. As you move forward, 
remember that setbacks are simply part of the process. The difference between those who reach financial freedom and those who don't is often a matter of persistence. Millionaires aren't people who never make mistakes. They are people who learn from those mistakes, adjust, and keep going. Your journey may have its challenges, but every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Remember to celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Each step forward brings you closer to the life of wealth and independence you're building. Keep your vision clear, stay disciplined in your habits, and never stop growing your skills and knowledge. With patience and determination, you will see the fruits of your efforts come to life. This is your moment. Seize it, stay committed, and watch as the life you've envisioned becomes your reality. Take care and be well.